Hello everyone. Today we have Shivam Thakur with us. He is one of our course enrolled student, and uh, today he is going to share his learning journey throughout the gate preparation. So, hi Shivam. It's great to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me, ma'am. Uh, please let us know something about yourself, your education background, your brief introduction. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have done my B Tech from Jabalpur Engineering College, Madhya Pradesh. <coughs> Uh, I am at 2021 pass out, so I dropped the year this this time for preparation. Okay, so you have attempted for gate exam in 2021 as well. Yes, ma'am, I attempted last year as well. So that time you have prepared by yourself, or you have like uh, uh, considered any course material? No, ma'am, I was preparing by myself only. You are uh, like using YouTube videos and okay. that stuff only. I didn't enroll in any course. <clears throat> like, uh, what was your learning strategy for this year for 2022? Uh, yes, ma'am. For this year, uh, I knew that <clears throat> last time I did not enroll in a course, and my preparation was not uh, very structured, as to say, like it was very wayward. Like I used to study from YouTube and all on the free resources, yeah. which are not uh, complete, uh, you know. So. Uh, it took me a lot of time like I was stuck in some topic uh, in some topic then I used to spend days on it uh, so yeah it was very bad last year so this time I my friend actually Yashwant Raghuvanshi he was uh, he secured all India rank 75 last year yeah so he was an course enrolled student yeah. so yeah he he told me about the course and asked me to enroll on it so yeah, I enrolled it uh, in April only last year. Okay. So yeah, then uh, like I started with it, I started with those subjects which uh, I was not familiar with. Like I left two uh, two subjects, computer organization and digital logic last year. Okay. So I started with them and uh, I watched all the course enrolled video. I was really afraid of COA to be honest. Like I have watched and I have watched videos about students talking about COA and how it is like the hardest subject in gate computer mm -hmm. science. So that's why I did not do it last year. But this time I wanted to start with it, and uh, I really I uh, for all the subjects from all the subjects uh, I loved COA the most. Like I I studied it for 15, 20 days and I really enjoyed the CO applied COA course very very much like it is one of my favorite subjects this time <laughs> so uh, so i watched all the course videos then i attempted the practice test and similarly i prepared those subjects first which was not uh, which were my weak subjects as i have prepared last year so i knew that certain subjects of mine are very strong and some needs to improve so yeah i started with those and in that way i followed so basically you overcame your fear this year and uh, you have completed the, like by what time you have completed the whole syllabus? Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, I planned to complete all my subjects uh, in October, but uh, uh, they, I, I was able to complete only after November, like late November, I completed all my subjects. Except aptitude, aptitude I didn't prepare much. I only solved some previous year problems, and yeah. So you started PYQs in parallel with your preparation, or you have kept it for the last? Yes, ma'am. No, no, no. Uh, last year I did same mistake. I used to like watch videos and finish subject and consider it finished. Like I did not practice much last year, but this year. Uh, I know I have to practice a lot of questions in order to get my problems, problem solving skills right. So I used to watch the course videos first and then I used to solve all the PYQs which were available like from 2000 years. Mm -hmm. So I solved all the previous year questions from that particular subject. After that, I also had access to uh, test series, GATE 2020 series. So I used to give all the topic-wise test and uh, subject-wise test of that particular subject. Okay. So when I did, point of yeah, when I complete, yeah. yes, ma'am. After completing a subject, then only I moved to other subject. So, like, uh, did you kept revision in parallel while completing the subjects as well? Like till November, uh, did you revised 
uh, other subjects which you have already completed or you again kept it for the end uh no yes ma'am actually i uh, revised the through questions only uh, i did not revise my uh, i actually i didn't make my own notes i was following the notes given by the team applied your team mm -hmm. which are available so i did not uh, revise much from notes but uh, what i used to do like when i'm studying other subjects and i, I used to feel a little bit bored uh, about it so i used to go to my previous subjects and attempt some questions from mm -hmm. test series or pyq so yeah basically most of my revision was through questions only and mm -hmm. after november then i revised uh, like properly through notes and all that stuff okay. so uh, in, on an average how many hours do you invest in completing the course <laughs> uh on an average ma'am 5 uh, to 6 hours daily okay not more than that but uh, yeah it was in range of 4 to 6 hours only i used to study 3 hours in morning mm -hmm. and 2 3 hours after like in evening or at night and yeah solved uh, i solved questions in my free time like my favorite subjects like coa mathematics that i used to do like when i was getting bored so yeah so apart from 5 6 hours you spend time for problem solving separately right yes ma'am okay so like uh, did you felt any pressure drop pressure because uh, we do have like okay we have get, taken a drop so <clears throat> is it like that how do you manage that pressure yes ma'am actually when uh, i didn't start my preparation like after giving gate uh, 21 my exam went very bad uh, so yeah i was like not really motivated and i was like very down and out for like whether i'm going to give it this year or not yeah. but then i talked to my friend like who he was a ranker last year yashwan so yeah. he told me that he told me that if you enroll in a course and follow like a proper plan and do syllabus you complete your syllabus in time mm -hmm. and i'll help you and you will get a good rank i know so yeah he basically motivated me a lot it's really supportive and of him then yes ma'am uh, he has supported me throughout the year uh, although he is very busy like you know the am tech course work at iit is very hectic mm -hmm. but still whenever i called him yeah, i talked about what problems i am facing and he helped a lot so yeah i was not really sure but when i uh, when i was starting i gave it a week like i uh, read blogs and searched about how to go for the preparation and when i started i was really clear that <clears throat> i have to give my best this time no matter what like i will be getting uh, low marks in test series i will be having bad days but mm -hmm. i have to know uh, why i why i started it why I, uh, so yeah there was there were days when i was not uh, you know motivated and i felt mm -hmm. low but uh, yeah friends and fam really helped and yeah Okay. So, uh, like, what was your strategy to analyze your mistakes and to overcome your conceptual gaps? Like, uh, when do you see okay, this this is something I'm not getting it. I'm revising it. I'm not even I'm I'm even I'm revising. I'm not getting it. So, like, do you uh, look go through the videos at once again, or you go through the other standard textbooks, or you contact mentors? Like, what was your strategy? Yes, ma'am. So uh, when like uh, in December when I started giving uh, grand test so uh, i was getting like 40 45 marks i was making a lot of silly mistakes and also conceptual mistakes so first i worked on my silly mistakes i was not using calculator so i was making really silly mistakes under uh, pressure you know addition subtraction basic uh -huh. mistakes so uh, i also i was not familiar with the virtual calculator at that time so i started using it Uh, while practicing also like when i was solving pyqs mm -hmm. or other stuff mm -hmm. i started using calculator so uh, half of my mistake, mistakes were rectified that way also sometimes i used to in hurry uh, read the question wrong mm -hmm. so i made a note of it that uh, i will i will read a question very carefully and after marking the answer like in msq uh, in like in msqs and mcq that i will read that question once again after marking sometimes mm -hmm. what happens is that they have asked for not correct 
and we mm-hmm. must call the correct one yeah so those mistakes i was doing like very silly mistakes so yeah i noted that what silly mistakes i'm making and i have done them yeah and about mistake. the conceptual yeah continue. yes and about the conceptual mistakes like uh, uh, when i used to analyze my uh, paper i found that some topics uh, were uh, really not good so i went again i watched the course videos and i solved the, like pyq uh, re- i read discussions online so mm-hmm. it helped a lot and yeah like uh, i uh, designated a time that i will work on those weaker topics so i used to watch it all over again and clear my concepts okay. so uh, like when you look back to, uh, through your journey the whole year uh, do you feel like there is something you would like to change you would like not to do or you would like to add in your uh, schedule yes ma'am uh, like uh, one thing i would do that uh, i left uh, mathematics for and uh, like engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics okay so i think it is better to finish it first uh, in the end time it is a really a long uh, syllabus for mathematics okay. so that i would do also uh, i thought in when i was starting to prepare that if i make uh, my own notes then it will take a lot of time mm-hmm. but uh, when i like in december when i used to revise uh, i found out that if i had ma- uh, make my own notes then it would really have saved me a lot of time so yeah. uh, like while, while attempting test series i made uh, short notes like which i things which i learned from test series and also mm-hmm. my mistakes so those short notes helped me a lot like uh, i did not have to analyze again i just used to used to read my mistakes mm-hmm. so yeah that is one thing i think that if i had made my own notes uh, it would have been more comfortable uh, any suggestions you would like to give for the future aspirants who are uh, looking to take a drop any suggestions yes uh, my only suggestion will is, uh, be to keep it simple uh, like uh, prepare a plan like from where you want to study like decide everything earlier before starting that uh, you have to be prepared for the worst of the conditions like you have to be mentally ready that yes i will have bad days yes i will be afraid of the competition and if i'm not getting good marks or i'm stuck in a topic mm-hmm. so uh, you have to be mentally prepared for it competitive exam you will have bad days but mm-hmm. you have to remember why you started and like uh, uh, self believe is i think the most important you have to believe at all times that you will do good and i think if you follow the preparation and follow the process uh, then you don't have to worry for the results if you do all the things correctly you will eventually get the results how gate applied course and uh, mentorship helped you throughout your process like uh, uh, how you have taken the best of, out of it it was very help as helpful this time as i told last year i was preparing on my own mm-hmm. so i really had uh, like no doubt resolving or any mentorship so this time it was like very easy uh, whenever i am stuck like in a topic or even uh, in very silly questions i used to just ask i used to mail or generate a ticket and i used to get reply within that day only so i was never stuck this year like in a particular topic even like if i'm get, get uh, getting a very basic doubt i used to ask and yeah it had a lot the doubt resolving i think uh, was very beneficial this time for me okay we are glad to help you actually so is there any suggestions you would like to give us good no ma'am i think it is a really good course uh, i have no suggestion but i will tell you in future if i can think yeah, of any <laughs> definitely so do you have any questions for us uh, any any questions can like uh, no ma'am uh, right now i have so do you have any questions for us uh, any any questions can like uh no ma'am uh, right now i have thank you so much shivam for your time it's really uh, great to have you have you here and we really appreciate uh, your time and best wishes for your coming future very bright future uh, thank you ma'am it's 
really good to talk to you and i'm very grateful for the applied course team like it has helped me a lot this year so yeah we are happy with thank you you all people are happy <laughs> yes okay thank you so much thank you for your time